The S25 is an unguided rocket that's fired from an aircraft. A couple of problems with that. Um, if you're firing an S25 from an aircraft, the aircraft's moving at quite high speed. This isn't a smart weapon. This isn't something that the, uh, the weapons controller in the aircraft guides down onto its target while the aircraft's still flying. Once it's released, it's gone. And the aircraft's probably flying at, say, five, 600 miles an hour. And what degree of accuracy are you going to get with a free flight rocket flying at that sort of speed? Again, so with a populated area as the target area, then there's every chance that that rocket will stray and hit civilians. Syria has seen a steady escalation in the explosive weapons used by its warring parties. Bigger and bigger bombs are being used month after month. The introduction of aerial rockets in July last year was a landmark that introduced a new danger to Syrians. A year later, evidence of a new weapon was found in Homs. The S-25 is the biggest air-launched rocket in Syria. It stands at more than twice the height of an average man. The warhead of this rocket is a massive 194 kilograms, more than half the complete weight of the weapon. It's a far higher ratio than for any other weapon in this list and would create a massive blast radius. It would be very difficult to ever effectively limit the impact of this weapon's blast yield. The more explosive you can put into a weapon, the more devastating the effect. So it's kind of as simple as that. Um, it's a bit like a terrorist with a car bomb. You shove more explosive into it, you're going to devastate a wider area. So in the same way with air-launched air rockets, put more explosive into something and it devastates a wider area. That's purely and simply the only reason you'd do it. It is the largest in a family of unguided rockets that for over a year have been used countless times to hit populated areas, including hospitals. Four civilians were killed on the 12th of August 2012 when a jet fired six similar S-5 rockets at the Dar al-Shifa hospital, causing major damage to the building. These rockets hit the same hospital again two days later.